something that I've been thinking about lately that's been motivating me has just been thinking about my ancestors. You know, the reason I work so hard and I'm always like in this grind set monk mode, you know, hustling, I don't go out and party, I don't stay up late, I don't have any of these bad habits because I know that my ancestors are looking back on me to keep their bloodline going. You know, your ancestors, they've worked so hard. They go through so many trials and problems to get you to where they are, you are right now. Probably like, I don't know, working super hard through like the in industrial era, whatever, industrial revolution, trying to like provide food for their starving families, fishing and like making it through wars and famines, just so you can sit on your ass all day, play video games and jack off. And then that's the bl end of their fucking bloodline. They do all that work just for you to die a fucking virgin. <laughs> Alright. But anyways, being serious here. You owe them something. You owe your ancestors for all their hard work. And the best way to repay them for all they've done for you is to become monumentally successful. If you become successful, then their name carries on. So Andrew Tate's dad died. He died like a while ago. And the only way... Nobody cares about you once you die. Once you die, nobody's interested. But the only reason that Andrew Tate's dad's still relevant and people still talk about him even after his death is because Andrew Tate still exists. He carries the name. And his dad is still talked about and remembered because of how successful he became. People pay attention to him. So if you want your parents and everybody in your family to go unnoticed, then just be lazy. Don't put any work to anything. But if you become successful, your your uh, ancestors' hard works and problems solved and all that work, it went towards you and you took full advantage of it. Just knowing you took full advantage of your opportunities given to you by everybody who loved you. And then another thing to think about is that your future kids, you know, most likely you're going to have kids in the future. Most likely, even if you say right now, I don't want to have kids, you're probably going to like get lonely, whatever, 50 years old, you have everything you've ever wanted at 50, and you're probably going to want to have kids or something at some point. It's kind of a lonely existence thinking that you're not going to have somebody to carry your name or to, like, secede you once you, like, are old and irrelevant. <laughs> so your kids, your future kids are going to be looking back on this version of yourself right now. <laughs> They're going to be looking back on present-day you right now and what you're doing right now. They're, if you become successful, they're going to be proud of who you are right now, that you chose to put in this hard work, working hard, recording these videos, and doing all this stuff. And if you're a loser and you played video games all day, your future kids are going to see you and look down on you with like disgrace on the wasted opportunity. You could have became successful right now, but instead you really chose to like waste your time on like video games and drugs and just wasted potential. So your future kids are going to be looking down on this moment right now. On what you did right now. What you chose to do. Another good motivator is all the people around you. All your friends and family. They probably aren't having the best time. They probably have financial troubles. They probably don't like the job they're going to. And... A really good motivator is thinking about, like, retiring your parents. I know this sounds kind of cringe, retiring your parents. But, like, think about it. Your, do your dad probably doesn't like the job he has right now. He probably goes to work every day, like, with a fucking sour face. He probably doesn't enjoy going to his job. I'm going to say that he, pro he definitely doesn't because most people don't enjoy their jobs unless they're, like, financially free and just doing the work because they want it. But most people just do their jobs for the money, and they don't like them. They don't enjoy them. They have no other choice. But imagine, like, make getting so much money, becoming, like, so rich that you can just give your money, give, like, a fraction of your money to your parents, 
and they never have to work a day in their life. Retire your parents. <laughs> and then going back to think about your the people who are going to be what's it called? Your your future children, the people who are going to succeed you, thinking right now you need to a good motivator is the ability that you're going to be able to save your future bloodline from eternal in slavery. The nine to five rat race, the matrix, it's it's basically slavery, let's be honest. You work a job for a boss for a little paycheck and you don't get anything else. <laughs> right now you could become super successful, work that extra hard and put all your effort into entrepreneurship and you're following bloodline. They never have to work a day in their life. Well, they still will work. They'll still work hard. But they don't have to be a slave. They get to make money and do what they enjoy instead of being a fucking slave to a boss and working that shit job. So that's what you have to do if you want to become... That's, that's some of the motivators that I have going for me. And why I do the shit that I do is for those exact reasons. I have a duty to my bloodline and to my the, the people to precede me and to my family I have a duty to them to repay what I owe I'm gonna work my ass off till that comes I'm not gonna give into instant gratification do all this other shit today's sponsor is my own mentorship I created a mentorship and it's gonna improve your fitness and your discipline if you're interested first link in the description down below I'm not trying to scam you out of your money literally you can book a free sales call if you're actually that like suspicious of it i've never scammed anybody out of their money if you wanted it back i'd give it to you i have no interest in dissatisfying customers and building a bad reputation because that'd make me look bad do i look like a guy to scam you anyways if you're interested first link if not it's whatever see you guys in my next video